Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, let's do a reading about what is their message to you? What do they want to tell you right now? What is their deepest uh, spiritual, emotional message? Something that they cannot tell you face to face, something that they cannot tell you physically. What do they want to tell you? What, what, what are they saying to you? So... This is for romantic relationships, but it can be for any relationships. It's up to you. So if you'd like to participate in this reading, please think of a person and uh, choose a set of cards. Please choose a heart card. Okay, we have four Lenormand heart cards and some tarot cards underneath. So Lenormand cards are just... Uh, acting as a you know significator for the heart that's it so take your time please in choosing your set of cards and choosing your heart card have you chosen so let's start with our tarot with our set number one what is there message for you okay so we have these cards uh, that talk about a dream like a dream sabotaged or a relationship that uh, got stuck the hopes are stuck in this relationship but I think these cards basically they're saying call me or I'll call you call me because of work I want you to call me because of work um, because there were many hopes but these hopes got postponed somehow uh, it's difficult to know what is the reason maybe some sort of delays or maybe something something but I think they're missing you a lot and they want to get in contact with you fast you know, so that's the sort of simple message that they're saying here. Let's have a look at our set of cards number two. What is their message? Well, here it's very interesting. I think, um, again, it talks about some sort of separation with you, but they are... Uh, Maybe uh, now it can be that they're telling by themselves that, look, we're separated, but I'm successful now. I have so many opportunities and I'm so successful in things, you know, and uh, maybe I'm very smart and very ruthless when it comes to these projects and this fun. Uh, like they're a little bit sneaky as well and they might have some fun behind your back as well but also they might tell you as an advice to actually overcome some sort of trauma some sort of pain some sort of separation and focus on uh, victories some sort of victories and opportunities and especially this is to do with your um, some sort of uh, success with people and success as a person popularity and work and maybe success in research and, and things that you do, you know. So it might be advising for you to just um, be more confident and be more, you know, courageous and fierceless and ruthless and just go get it, you know, that sort of situation. Our set of cards number three, what is their message to you well this is family love kids you know it's um, it talks about maybe some sort of issues that you had before maybe you had a fight or something where you were wanting to leave them or wanting to to do something on your own you were judgmental you were truth in your words you said something to them but i think this is 
this worked out to the best. I think this improved their relationship somehow that after that, they're sure they want to be with you. After that, they're sure they want this to last forever. It's like uh, they want you, they love you, and they're interested in family, having a family with you. If not family, then of course, if it's not a romantic question, then it definitely can be like a family. Um, being together, having a long-term relationship, money, employment, good times, happiness, these things. Our set of cards number four. What is their message to you? Well, might be talking about black magic, might be talking about spirituality. Uh, so basically, it's talking about being careful. It's I think it's a warning. It's it's about being careful. Maybe it's about you becoming extremely successful, and um, that becoming like an addiction. Um, whether this is occult, spiritual things, some sort of tarot, meditation, some dangerous secret topics, you know, in the world. So it can tell you that you might complete and achieve what you want, especially if it's uh, related with some studies. It could even be some sort of uh, mystical studies but could also talk about normal studies so it says you will reach that but later it, the result might be not what you want you know this is devil and five of swords it can show that you will get into some sort of trap maybe and you will eventually feel used somehow by someone so it's very hard to exactly know what is what person to have you thought of what is happening here, but this is a warning to be careful. Um, not to want too much. It can be that it's too late as well. It can be that you already achieved something and now you cannot say no to it, you know. And then you will start feeling like this is not what you thought. This is not what you wanted. Something like that. So it can be a little bit of that spiritual arrogance for some people. For some people we can talk about just finishing some goals. And because of some money or honor or respect or something getting into some sort of trap where it's very hard to say no. And usually this trap is not in line with your value system. It's not in line with your what the heart is telling you. Let's see. So it can, I can see many stories here. It can be occult, it can be education, it can be even medical. It can be many, many things. It can be also people who are interested in metaphysical stuff and getting into, you know, things like UFOs and all these mythological creatures and things like that, if they're interested. It can say that you might not be able to find out the truth or something like that, you know. Let me see what is the advice for the set of cards number four. What is advice for you? You know, it can be talking about the birth of a child for some people. It's about a sign from above. Something good is coming. It can be a pregnancy also. And it's like wanting it, saying yes to it. And congratulating it, accepting it. So, um... Maybe for some people it's even talking about abortions and things, they say don't do it. Um, 
it can be uh, so for me it's just it seems it, I had a thought like that maybe it's wrong I'm sorry if I'm wrong uh, so basically there's something very important happening that's coming from another world that's coming from above um, it's sort of what you wanted and it's sort of a good thing but it could be that some of you don't want to accept that so this is our message thank you for watching this video i hope that you received your uh, messages and i hope to see you again soon bye bye